Hello everyone, I am back with a new card video and today will be very quick and easy. I will do some watercoloring once again and will be using my Distress inks. I'm making a lot of watercolor uh, cards lately because I have <laughs> a lot of watercolor cards stuck. So I'm trying to, to use that as much as I can. I have here Cracked Pistachio, Peacock Feathers, Wilted Violet and Hickory Smoke. The stem that I'm featuring today is from Penny Black and this is called Pumpkins and it is a red rubber stamp as you can see, a cling stamp and it's also pretty large. You can make some very quick cards with large stamps as you don't have to fill in too much your background or search for other stamps that match. I'm gonna be stamping this with my Versafine Onyx Black and as you all probably know, this is a waterproof ink once it's, it dries. Okay, and I'm gonna stamp this in this bottom corner here. Such a beautiful image. I'm gonna be smooshing a bit of ink onto an acetate sheet that I have on the side and we'll be starting with Cracked Pistachio and peacock feathers and I am using this round brush this is a eight size brush and we'll be adding water to one of the pumpkins I want a very light and soft coloring and hopefully I can achieve that as I usually go a bit <laughs> too heavy so I'm just I'm applying water and the color will spread where the water is and I will apply first my dark color and then we'll pick a bit of the crack pistachio Then we'll just use some clear water and spread a bit that color around. I'm gonna give this a quick heat set so I can color my other two pumpkins. I'm gonna wipe these color off and move on to the next color. This is Wilted Violet. It's a very bright and beautiful purple. So with my clean brush I'm adding water to this small pumpkin here. And I'm adding color mostly on this top side here. And for my last pumpkin, I am using the hickory smoke. And now because I want to add a bit of shimmer, I'm going to be using my Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. This is a paste that I've um, showed you in one of my previous videos. And today I'll show you that you can use this paste with water also. And I'll be using this for coloring the leaves. And you can see that you get a very beautiful gold color. And it is also pretty uh, matte. It's not completely translucent as it's, it covers a bit of the, the line from my stamped image. But I can fix that with um, a black marker if I want to. And we'll use a bit for the tails. You can see the gorgeous shimmer there. I have a bit of that uh, purple here and I'm gonna try and 
wipe it off with my clean brush and clean water okay I'll also be using the silver one and add just a tiny bit of shimmer on one of the sides of each pumpkin and the silver one looks great on this uh, gray pumpkin here just a bit of shimmer another great way that you can use this paste is for adding splatters and if you don't have gold spray you can definitely use this paste I'm just gonna try to cover my pumpkins so I don't get these splatters on top And I think I want to add some of the silver ones also. And on clear cardstock they will look uh, pretty shimmery and uh, pearlescent rather than silver. Okay, I'm gonna dry this and show you how the splatters dry. Okay and you can see the gold splatters they are pretty opaque and very gold and shimmery they are not translucent and they also have a bit of uh, a texture not to the touch but on only to to the side and as i said i can fix those lines with a black marker just going over the lines from the stamped images that were covered from the paste. If I would have used a smaller brush I would have, uh, have been more precise when applying that gold. I have here some gold string and I'm going to be adding this on top of my, my pumpkins. And we'll use some dots of multimedia matte to appear this in place. For my sentiment, I am using this Dymo label maker, and I will be writing the word thanks. This tool helps you make your own labels and the letters are all embossed they really have um, a nice effect i'm just gonna hit two times space and then i will cut it so i can trim it with my scissors here you can remove the backing paper and adhere this right onto your paper as it uh, has adhesive to the back but i want to pop my sentiment onto some foam tape so I will use a bit of this 3M Scotch foam tape I recently got the theme hold scissors and I have to say that I really really love them they cut so beautifully okay and I'm gonna trim this like this and you can see the embossed effect that the label maker makes I'm gonna be adding this on top of my pumpkins hopefully straight and now I'm adding some color sequins and we'll use once again my medium matte to add some dots of glue
now mount the panel onto my card base. I have a bit of color at the bottom of my card here and I'm trying to remove it. I have these sponges for watercolor that I got on Amazon. Um, you can probably use a regular paper towel or so. So I just added a bit of water and I'm trying to scrub away that paint. And it seems to work. <laughs> Okay, you can see that I was able to remove that color. Okay, so that finishes the card for today. I really wanted something quick and easy. I uh, thank you all so much for watching and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye bye.